guess what? I finally have sprayed all the weeds down the back of my shed. They're starting to die slowly. Yeah, just for you guys to get all funny and bag me out. There you go. Killed them. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Righty, so today we are bringing down the height of cut on my lawn. From 15 mil to, I'm gonna, no not 15 mil, 18 mil, probably till about, I'm gonna try about 12 mil, which for you American guys is around about just below an inch. So yeah, I'm gonna bring it down. Because the lawn is sticking up, all the disease is gone, as you can see, and it's just ready. Just have a squeeze at how the lawn is looking. It's look good. The boy's having a bit of a cry over there. Right, look at that. The lawn is looking so, so, so much better. No disease at all. Mm. Just some winter grass and actually some nut grass, which I haven't really showed you guys yet, but I've got some nut grass in my yard, mostly along the fence here. And up along that fence just there. Good kick, bro. So I might do a dedicated video on nut grass soon, just to show you guys what I'm going to use to kill it, and yeah, just no, just a dog about nut. It's grass. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because I just like them. This one made sexy? Always why? Why do you sweat it? Every time it's drinking you can say wine one day. Da. <laughs> da. Right, so I got myself a little spanner. Not spanner. Oh, what are these called now? Oh, my brain is just not working today. I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, a bit of dirt on that. A bit of grass, not dirt. And to give us a good wash. Leaning this back, so we're gonna adjust the height. So I'm gonna get my height gauge. Height this gauge? is a height gauge, my boy. Ooh. Let's help you Whoa. check the height on the lawn. So basically, we're gonna measure the height of cut. So oh. between the front roller and the back roller. And I'll show you how that works in a second. But we've got to adjust this gap between here and here. So it's currently at 18 mil in that gap just there, and we'll adjust it down to 12 mil today. Because I'll do what I want. I'll just do it. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but that gap there is currently 18 mil, or even, yeah, pretty much, oh, it's more towards 17 mil. Today, today we're gonna squeeze it down to 15. So let's give it a squeeze. Hey, I'm good at this. All right, so we're at, bang on 12 mil. I doubt you guys can see that on camera, but 12 mil, so. I'm gonna do one run and see how it looks anyway when we adjust this down. So what you're gonna do is undo the locking nuts for that one locking nut on the inside just there, which shifts this roller up and down basically, which I'm pretty sure this is the wrong size. Just stand back a bit. I want you guys hands near the bladesies. What the bladesies? The blades, not the, the blades? not the bladesies. I did make that word up. So we're just gonna adjust this. I always forget which way to do it. There's weeds in the lawn. Yeah, what is that? Thanks. Can I put it out? Thanks for making me feel great about myself. So you see how it's touching the back roller and the front roller as well. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's lipping over the underside of that bed knife in there. Which is how we check our height of cut. Now, if you can't see that that well, I've got another video where I explain how that works as well. I'll link it down below and up above. Okay, so the reason I'm bringing down my height of cut today is basically because the lawn's ready for it. I've always wanted to bring it down bit by bit. I'm aiming for 12 mil today, might try 10 mil in a couple of weeks. Depends on how hot it gets. If it gets too hot, I'll keep it a bit higher because the lawn will stress out too much. But I'll bring it down bit by bit. Now, if you want to do this yourself, make sure you only take off a third of the leaf each time that you do it. Um, I think I'm technically taking off well, pretty much a third of a leaf when I'm doing this. 18, 12, 18 mil to 12 mil. Anyway, if I'm going a bit over, whatever, do what I want. But yeah. The lawn will handle it fine. Um, and ryegrass seems to handle taking down the height of cut a little bit easier as well. If we get a little bit of scalping though when I go to mow with this, then I'll stop and bring the height up again. 
All right, since we are taking off so much today, make sure we put this bad boy of a catcher on. We don't want to make a mess everywhere. Um, and yes, I have been cutting again with my catcher off because all that disease is gone. So, happy days. Love coming without a catcher, so much better. But today we've got the dreaded bad boy back on, so yeah, just so, because we're going to catch quite a lot of grass, I reckon. We'll find out, let's have a look. Didn't take off as much as I thought it would, actually. Man, that's going to look tidy. Alrighty, so check this. Ignore the nut grass in the background. Just pretend you didn't see it. Look at that. Bruh. Definitely taking a bit off. Not heaps though. Anyway, we'll keep mowing and I'll show you guys the difference once we do a bigger run than that as well. Alrighty, so. What's wrong, bro? I'm gonna open the lawnmower for you. These things are tricky. There you go. Alright, so I've done the pass, double pass around the outside. Always recommend you guys do that so when you are turning around, it's easy to turn around, just so it looks better. Um, let's just show you guys though. Flip the camera around and show you guys how much I've cut off. It looks nice. I'm really excited about this. Right, so I don't know if you guys can see it from this angle, especially not with my shadow there. You see where I've cut? So we get down a bit lower. We still can't really see that on camera, can we? It's definitely lower. You can see, especially where I've cut up along the shed just here. You can really see it just here. Look at that. Look at that difference, yo. Mmm. Look here. Six eight grasses too. 12 mil boy, looking good. Can you guys see the difference there? So that was 18, I'd probably say it's 20 mil because I haven't cut it in a couple of days. And that is 12 mil there. Whoa, looks schmick as nice and tight. Let's have a look at these clippings. This is off two pasts around the outside and really already gone up. Ah, that's hot, the mower. Ow. Silly boy. Anyway, getting quite a bit of grass off, which is expected, but this is going to look Oh good man. Also, if you are deciding to do this and bring your hider cut down, make sure you do a double cut first time you do it because your first cut's not going to get all the way down, you'll find out, and you'll find it'll just look really uneven for your first cut. So at least give a double cut, even a triple cut if you can. I don't have time to do the triple. Double cut might even be a stretch, but yeah, we're going to go for a double. By the way, that's not me. I didn't get changed my clothes that quickly. My twin bro, he's just mowing for me because I've got a party going on across the road at Matt's place, actually. His daughter's second birthday, so we're going over there soon. So I've got to get this done. And there's some rain coming in, too. Check this out. The rains are coming, Marge! You can see him in the background here. Big, massive storm coming. You guys see that? So anyway, Josh just coming over for the sake of it. So I'll talk to you guys while he's mowing it. Or... I'll get some mowing shots. Have a get the drone up. Smart. Uh, you always said you for a better thing. Wanna replace me? I'm in a place that I've never been. It's worse than lonely. Can someone tell me there's a good in me? There's good in me. Cause I got doubts. I got doubts. I got doubts. Yeah. Sometimes I wanna risk it all.
Right, I had to get the drone down because it's getting windy as, because as you can see there's a big storm brewing. Whoa, there's lightning too. That wouldn't have been good for the drone. So yeah, Josh's done the double cut out the back. Looks pretty good, needs a triple for sure. Um, but, and it looks a little bit yellow because it's slightly scalped. Sorry, it's really picking up the wind at the moment. Um, but that's pretty normal, so I'll give it a good fertilise probably tomorrow. Just to help push that back through and then just keep cutting and keep cutting at this height. And it'll take it pretty well and pretty easily, but man, it looks so tight and tidy. So as you can see, it does look a little bit stressed. It has lost a little bit of colour, but that's alright. So as we can see, we've cut in pretty low. It actually looks worse on camera than it does in real life. But a good fertiliser to fix that up. You can see a bit of the stalk there. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I've cut into the stalk a little bit as well. That's pretty normal when you drop your height like that, so it'll adjust. I just have to keep cutting at this height. Thanks, me. Appreciate it. Yeah, no worries, mate. You. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> Get on my face. Thanks for my home alone for labor man. Get here. I'll give you a beach tonight. Promise? Promise. Watch out. Let's see if Emma bought them. She might not have bought them. <laughs> see on my face. Double cut. So I think we're going to finish the video because it is rainy, I mean windy as. What? So that, my friend, is how it is done. Like these shots? Coming at you, Connor. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't know if you guys can even hear half this audio because of the thunder in the background and the wind and everything, but yeah. We are uh, what? Try not talking on camera, mate. Just, I <laughs> can do it later, it's alright. So, yeah, this lawn looks like quite a bit of a mess. Um, definitely needs another cut. Needs a whippersnip, needs an edge. You can see the edges there, how long they are. Oh, that is so much lightning. But yeah, anyway. That's going to be the end of the video. I'm going to wrap it up there. So thanks guys so much for watching. Ah, I ran over my foot. Thanks guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Give a thumbs down for Josh. He's such a smarty pan. And you have a good week. <laughs> well, let's just say I'm glad we finished. And now I've got to walk over to Matt's place in the rain. And